guys? Welcome to week seven. Guys, it's week seven. That means there's only one more week. You got right now, and then you got next week, and that's it. So I hope you're having a good time. Let me tell you something. Won't talk about it too much, but next week is going to be a very special week. It's going to be very special. Do you understand what I'm saying? Great. Okay, so this week's going to be a lot of fun. We did a bunch of cool things. Um, I was out for a couple shows, so my buddy Gus Gloop took the camera around. <laughs> there he is. That sounded so real. Thank you. Like a real trap sound. Anyway, um, what else? I thought uh, a lot of you have asked about this, so I wanted you to see our stage manager, Michael Passaro. He is the boss. He is a boss. He's nailing it. And he was calling the show the other day, so we went up to his little call, call board and we, we watched him call the show, so that's fun. Um, oh, I sat down, you guys, with Johnny Rubenstein. This man is a legend. This man is an amazing human being. We talked with him for a little bit, got some good stories out of him. Other than that, shenanigans. Uh, you can see some fun faces, and that's it. So, have fun, and you know, you know what I'm saying, right? Come on along the journey. Come on along. Come on. What up, losers? It's gloop time. Yeah, Mike's not here, so I took the camera. Who knows what's gonna happen? Probably craziness. Probably inciting a riot. Probably eating potato chips. So yeah, on gloop time, this is what we're gonna do today. Yeah, I said gloop time. It's not a alliterative, but it's funny. Cause gloop, I don't know what we'd do. Uh, yeah, Mike's, Mike's not here. So I'm taking the camera and I'm making magic happen. First, Chaffee. Stream while the live stream feels you. Yeah, the vlog. The vlog is vlogging the live stream. The live stream is live streaming the vlog. This is like Inception. Yeah. This is, this is Ben's room. He's got a really fancy looking water thing that this glows This is my blue. electric cable. And what's I do? What I do is I put coffee in this guy, but first there's a whole process. <laughs> Kathy, there are breakable things, and... <laughs> In case you didn't notice, Kathy's here! I don't know if I can say this on the blog, but Kathy's a butthead. <laughs> Well, what you say, cause you're on this road every night and every day. Somebody's hiding in the bridge. Oh no. To know if who on our cast would do fantasy football. So let me I would know. do fantasy football. Okay, I'm gonna hook you up a Groundhog Day. Y'all ready for tonight? Yes. Is it TV time? It's TV time. That is Broadway's Sweet and Petite Bo Never Gay! I bet you can. Do you think you can? You already know the words. Oh, hey. It's like looking into the future. <laughs> Fantastic. Have a great show, bud. Thank you. Yes. Two words describe Monet. Oh my god! Um, <laughs> rehearsal and lab. Can, it, can, if they could rhyme, what would they be? Uh, she's sweet and also she's like... Sweet and petite. So she's like, petite. Yeah, sweet petite. and petite. That's sweet perfect. Petite. Two words to describe Monette. Sweet and petite. Two words to describe Monette. Double duty. <laughs> <laughs> Two words to describe Monette. Muffin head. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'm not throwing away my shot. What are you doing, weirdo? Hmm? You're silly. I'm warming up. Warm up. You already did your number. It's a little late for that. Should have thought of that before the number. Ooh. What's what's uh? Is it shady in here? Is it shady? Oh, this is exciting. This is good times. So look at that picture window. Well, hey, buddy boy. Hello. How are you? I'm very good. Thank you. Look at this guy. May I have a seat? May I sit? Yes. You look. You look like a guy who should do uh, TV and film. 
Oh, really? <laughs> I just saw you on Friends the other day. Did I tell you this? Oh yeah, Friends. Yeah, I delivered two babies. Yeah, that's right. That was the last episode of that entire series. Unbelievable. And it was nuts because the audience for those shows were probably mostly family and friends of the cast and of the producers and so forth. But it was the last time, and so it was wild. Those girls, the three actresses, you know, mm -hmm. four, three, three, were um, crying all the time oh, oh, oh. because oh this is the last Good time we're ever going to be in the nightclub yeah, I mean, or whatever they, we, and they would weep and, and their mascara would run and they, we had to stop shooting while they all went back to makeup and had to be all fixed oh so that God. they could shoot That's it so was cute. fun though yes i was very lucky clearly to be cast as pippin in in the first in pippin the first time through uh, I had not worked on Broadway before. I mean, I'd been working for years. I'd done a lot of summer stock, and I'd done a bus and truck tour around the country for seven months. I'd done a bunch of TV and a few movies. I mean, so it wasn't like I hadn't yeah. acted before, but still, yeah. uh, you know, it was my second Broadway audition. The first one was to take over for Joel Grey in a cabaret. <laughs> oh my God! And and I got a really nice letter from Harold Prince oh saying you were the best auditioner, but I looked too young. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and so that was a that was a thorn in my heart, but it also made me say, okay, maybe I can get a part. Mm -hmm. So there's a very long story as to how I got that part, mm -hmm. which I won't tell you. <laughs> but uh, it's only a ten minute vlog, John. We don't know. <laughs> so now here I am uh, in New York rehearsing Pippin, mm -hmm. and you know Ben Vereen and and. Uh, Jill Clayburgh and Eric Berry and Leland Palm and all these wonderful people and old Irene Ryan from the Beverly Hillbillies mm -hmm. playing the granny Crazy. and I was in great company we were having a blast we had so much fun in rehearsals and all these great people in the chorus and ranking was one of the chorus girls and I mean it was wonderful yeah. and uh, but about the second week I realized that I never was going to dance I was pipping, you know, and watching all these amazing numbers and being upset and then singing all my millions of songs and I'm a terrible singer so I was always very frustrated about that. <laughs> but I, one day I said, wait a minute, if you're playing the title role in a Bob Fosse musical and he's directing and choreographing, you gotta, you gotta do something. So I went up to him and I said, hey Bob. I, you gotta make me dance. And he said, but John, you can't dance. <laughs> and I said, oh, I know, but that's that's your problem. <laughs> that's for you to solve. You hired me. Yeah. So, yeah. And so he said, all right. And there was this number on the right track, which was Ben Vereen's number, singing to me, you know, telling me, don't give up, you know, don't be in despair just because everything you've tried is failing. Okay. Carry on. Yeah. And so he made that now into a duo dance number where the point of it was that I couldn't dance. <laughs> and Ben is doing all these snaky, wonderful things around me, and I'm trying to do them too, you know. So and at the end, my lack of ability makes me suicidal, and that's when the plot changes and they introduce the widow to, you know, to, to bring me out of my despair. So it's very much like Grandpa Joe in the same way. Yeah, He's absolutely. Getting sea legs yes. and doing another Here I am dance dancing number. again, where the point is that I can't move my legs. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, you're a genius. We love you, buddy. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Hi, guys. Uh, Alright, checking in. Uh, first on the deck, Dave Fulton. Great. Uh, Hugh. Great. Uh, Dave B. Thank you. Uh, on the rail, Matt. Thank you. And on the board, Curtis. It's Michael Pissarro, stage man. Uh, Dave, on the follow spots. <laughs> uh, we have um, Paloma on uh, as uh, Maruka. We won't have three uh, gum chomping divas tonight, only two, if that makes an interest, if that's of interest to you. All right, cool. Sunrise, sprinkle it with dew, cover it in the 
chocolate and a miracle or two. The Candyman. Candy man can't cause he makes a zoo pop and makes the world taste good. Hi guys! So there you have it you guys, another fun filled week here at the factory. Join us next week when our guests will be, you know what, I'm not going to tell you. You're just going to have to tune in. And I think you're going to want to tune in. Because it's going to be wild. <laughs> God, I look good. Who can take a rainbow? Wrap it aside.